outcome that we had hoped, but I was certainly, certainly proud and pleased with uh, how we played all weekend, the effort. Um, it, when you look at the game, uh, our start didn't help us, uh, and then you have to go back to, uh, I think we were down one with a minute 30 in the second uh, with the ball, and we go back-to-back -back turnovers, which resulted in back-to-back -back threes for them. Also, you're down seven at half, um, and then come out and again, grind your way back in the, in the third quarter, and uh, just didn't have enough in the fourth to finish, but uh, extremely proud, very, very proud of the progress uh, that this team made, uh, not only over the last six weeks, but when you look at uh, how we performed uh, over the weekend, it says a lot about the young women um, in this, this program. Um, you have to give uh, hats out and a lot of respect to Drake and what they've done and how they've done it. Um, and we are wishing them the best in their seed uh, for their NCAA tournament bid and hope they have a, a very a good long run. Uh, but you can't, as a basketball fan in this state, you have to be proud of what both programs have accomplished. To be in that game back-to-back -back, uh, years for both programs uh, said a lot. says a lot about the programs and, and where both programs are headed. Uh, both teams lose one senior, uh, and we're certainly going to miss Kennedy. Uh, we really, really are hoping uh, that we've done enough. Uh, to continue play, we think we have, um, but uh, oh, what a what a asset she has been, uh, both on and off the floor for our program. Uh, but um, again, extremely proud and pleased of what this team has been able to accomplish. Are there any questions? Tanya, how confident are you that you'll get a postseason bid number one, and what would it mean for a team this young to continue its season? Well, going into the tournament, we uh, was told by the committee um, that we were certainly being considered and we had to have a good showing. And I think we've done that. I think we've won either 11 out of the last 14 or 12 out of the last 15. And when you look at how we've played down the stretch and then the history in which uh, we've had in playing in the WNIT, I certainly think um, it, it swings in our favor. Uh, and. To be able to play in postseason play with this young team only helps because that experience is something uh, that you value uh, and it gives you some momentum going into the off season and certainly into next season. How much has this team grown from starting the year where you kept saying that this is the youngest team you've had to how much did this happen and how much experience they've gained since? Well, you know, we talk a lot about the process uh, and a lot about the journey and not getting caught up in the destination. Um, and when you look at, especially over the last six weeks, the progress that this team has made, um, it, it has been incredible. Uh, if you'd have probably asked um, not only myself, but our team uh, back leaving the locker room at, at Omaha, uh, and we played without Ellie, if we thought we would get to 19 wins, I'm not sure everybody would have been on board. But again, it's a testament to the young women, uh, them staying true to the process, them staying true to the everyday journey, coming to work, wanting to get better, uh, and just learning uh, the lessons. And we talk a lot about you win and you learn. Not necessarily lose, but learn. And we certainly learned, and it showed in what we was able to accomplish down the stretch. What are some areas that you think this group could still uh, continue to grow and improve if you have that chance to, to have postseason play here this season? Well, you know, we have to continue to value the basketball. And, and I think we did that uh, over the weekend. But with Drake, Drake does such an incredible job of being able to turn your turnovers into points. I mean, they're, they're top three in the country in doing that. Uh, it's not that we turned the ball over a lot. It's when we did, they turned them into points. So continuing to value the basketball, continue to be able to play inside out. Uh, we didn't get Megan's best, but Megan also uh, left the game a little bit early and, and was hobbled. Uh, but what she's been able to do uh, down the stretch certainly helped our progression as a team. And then we got to continue to do what we do, and, and that's defend, um, be attention to detail oriented, um, and continue to get good productivity off of our bench. Now that the tournament's been in the quad cities for a few years, just what have you thought about the general experience and all the support that's been coming in the last few seasons? You know, the, how they embraced 
us as a league and how they embraced that tournament has been incredible. Joe has done a tremendous job of, of welcoming us, embracing that, getting the word out. And again, uh, the atmosphere yesterday was pretty special. And I don't know if it has to do with, with us and Drake uh, being in that final, but when you look at the atmosphere and what it brings, that's every student athlete's dream to play in front of that kind of atmosphere. Any other questions? Thank you.